to East. As we have the two face-off men ready to go for Hostra, Chase Patterson and underway going for number 35, Sam Walsh. Corralling this one with some speed. Gets it for Patterson. Patterson revoke. Ball bouncing on the back on the chase is gonna be Riley Reed. Riley Reed takes a huge hit right out in front. Bouncing that one. Unable to connect was Patterson. And it goes all the way out of bounds. And you have to give props for Jack Rooney. He hustled back on that turnover. Richie Hickus took it right up, tried to get it in midfield, runs right into Jack Rooney. Russell goes south to north and absolutely just throws him out of bounds. Anything on that one as that one was an absolute snipe. 30 seconds remaining in the first. Merrimack taking a 3-1 lead. And just a violation right there. Hofstra just has to take a deep breath. The white with the navy blue numbers and letters. Hofstra in the royal blue going left to right. In that first, it was Griffin. It was in this opener from Dwayne Stadium and Haley getting a couple of taps. And Hofstra wasting no time getting it right for Kane. 5-1 Merrimack. Remember, there is a lot left to play, but Jack Rooney adding to his resume here. And Merrimack, Walsh can't fight off that. Patterson. Four saves thus far for Henry Rode, and no one other bigger than that save right off the shot from Turner off that far post is Vogt makes a huge save in this home opener. Oster, however, getting the edge on faceoff with the exception of that first violation. Corners. And last shot that before that goal came did go high. This time he decides to just go low. Not a lot of speed on it as he forces a turnover right there. And there's going to be a flag. I believe this one might be going against Reed on that hack. Two Merrimack shots on goal that first half. 19 to 16 total shots. Shots on goal, I should say, 13 to 7. And 7 to 5 in saves. We mentioned Jack Rooney in our pregame. Ones to watch out for. We probably should have gave props to Tommy Rooney, his brother. He gets his second of the game, third point total. Coming hard, however, are the pride. Kale just misses the net, and that's going to right past Gates. 8.38 remaining in period number three. This home of University. 9-2 is where we sit. Merrimack in the white, as I mentioned, going left to right. Picking up that loose ball is going to be Joyle. Joyle hustling after it. On the back check for Hoster was Ox. And Kent. Merrimack will start this fourth period going right to left. Across your screen. Hoster getting some good shots. But Henry Vogt doing an excellent job. Here's Kane onto the near side. Hofstra on the rush. Something I haven't seen from Hofstra as of yet today, trying to rethink their ranks. Perez Blanco gets bumped off, takes another bump out a minute. So we'll have a man advantage for the pride. But if you're Hofstra, you're telling yourself at the start of this period, it's a nothing, nothing game. Just to get back in it, keep Gets his third of the game. That back foot showing the strength. Bounced 
right off the ground and officially getting the goal for the pride. John Matson, the sophomore from Bayville, New York. However, the pride still trailing by five. Here's on. That's a huge momentum swing for Hofstra, getting those two quick goals. Hofstra has a lot to focus on. Those players right off the bench, but taking no time and firing that one wide was Joyle. Making things interesting, as it hasn't been a three-goal game since the first half. Right off the draw, going strong is French. French takes it himself, just gets that one wide.